Here it is, it's five minutes after I just finished that last uh, blah -de blah and now I'm going to show you how I measure the draw weight. It's my little stick, numbered increments. Uh, I measured it here. So press down, the scale registers weight, it registers the force as weight. And I just push till I get to 50, which is where I want to go. Oh, 50. 22. Oh, 24. Push to 24. 50. Okay? 23. Now, this doesn't... I can't see the bend. I'm confident in the bend, so I'm not worried about it too much. What this does is it allows me to exercise the ball while reading the draw weight, getting an accurate sense of poundage on the thing. Obviously, what I normally do is measure it on that, put it here, clip on draw it a bunch of times to um, whatever whatever number this meet this measuring stick told me to take it to to get the draw weight that I want which in this case was 23 to there so for interest sake Got my little chair here. I try and line that up so that the thing is parallel to the wall. Can't be exactly parallel because it's tapered, but you know. And I draw it to 24. That horrible creaking sound is not this. It's the bow rubbing against the back of this. Not to worry. I know Helen's going to be watching this on YouTube while she's away in England right now. When she hears that sound, she's going to think, oh my god, it's going to break. But it's not. It's just creaking against the, the brace there. And as you can see, the arc is really good. I'm getting the hang of this. The um, Now it's just a matter of... Yeah, well, it's, it's a continuing matter of wood removal and uh, exercising the stick. That took several hours of work because I'm being careful and slow. I don't want to screw it up. I want to do a really good job so I don't mind taking the time to do it. And um, and it's really paying off. A few more hours of that and I'll be able to oil it and call it good. <laughs>